While I don't have a role in those findings, in coming up with those findings or making those recommendations as to how to go forward, I'll be briefed on it and I will be accept accepting their recommendations. That's the U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch responding to a firestorm of controversy following her spontaneous meeting with former President Bill Clinton. It lasted 30 minutes privately. The AG saying she regretted the meeting because it cast a shadow over the email investigation of Hillary Clinton. While Lynch is not recusing herself from the Clinton case, she is saying she will not contest whatever decisions her career prosecutors and the FBI reach. Let's bring in our legal panel to talk more about this. David Schwartz and Richard St. Paul, they are both defense attorneys. So Richard, she's not going to recuse herself, but she's not going to change whatever decision is made by the career prosecutors, the FBI. Well, my goodness, then why not recuse yourself to remove all doubt that the public may have? Well, look, if she recuses herself, then what do we have? We have a, a special prosecutor that needs to be appointed. That's no. going to take time. Career prosecutors can make the decision in the office. Alberto Gonzalez recused himself. Janet Reno recu uh, recused herself because both had the appearance of impropriety. Oh, the optics are absolutely bad here. But even if her deputy made the decision, the deputy is still a political appointee at the end of the day and would have the ability to decide whether or not. Yeah, but it wasn't uh, schmoozing it up with Bill Clinton for no, 30 minutes privately aboard an airplane. But, but just Let's look at it. this is a Democratic administration under President Obama that's investigating the Democratic presidential candidate. Right. The optics are bad all the way along. And then somewhere we've got to have some faith in the justice system. And it is very hard. Let me tell you, I'm not going to shy away from that. It's very difficult. Uh, the attorney general should have never had this meeting with, with President Clinton. Uh, President Clinton should have never had that meeting with the attorney general. Right. That was very bad. But I think the all recuser right. at this point will delay the investigation. David, um, Lynch violated her own department's ethical rules and standards. And I'll read it. Prosecutor must act impartially and not give preferential treatment to an individual. The appearance of partiality is prohibited. If you violate that rule, you get fired at DOJ. Shouldn't she fire yeah. herself and resign? Yeah, you know, I, she made a bad mistake, and I, and I believe she admitted fired for she, those mistakes. She admitted the bad mistake. However, we're we're still only talking about appearances here. We don't know whether or not she's going to be impartial but or not. That's the point. The I appearance believe, of an ethical but, violation but, is prohibited. But, but she admitted that, and sometimes in prosecutors' offices, that does happen unknowingly. There is an appearance she of impropriety. The, the skepticism and she's, doubt that she, Americans have I just about the get integrity back. of what she's doing. She's had a storied prosecutorial career. We can't forget that. And she she has been held to the highest standards throughout her entire career. I followed her career and I think she should be given at least the opportunity to come out with a result here. And I'm not so sure we need a special prosecutor at this All point. All right. There's two ways you can appoint an independent counsel or special prosecutors. Congress can reauthorize the independent counsel statute. It, it lapsed back in 1999. That would take one day because it's already there. The law exists. All you have to do is vote to reauthorize. The other is the attorney general herself under DOJ regs can appoint an independent counsel. Again, she could do that in a day. Well, let me just say this. First of all, we saw the last time the Congress appointed an independent counsel with Ken Starr, and we saw how that $40 million investigation turned out. Yeah, Not but very the investigation's well. already been done by the FBI. All the special counsel would do is review it as career prosecutors are going to do at DOJ and make a decision. Well, I think we need to hold the Attorney General Lynch to what she said. If she's going to let the career lawyers in a DOJ make a decision and she's going to follow Wouldn't the decision, that will be fine. you have more confidence in an independent counsel rather than, as you pointed out, the biased career prosecutors? I would have faith. I, have, I still have faith in this system as an attorney. I still have faith that regardless of who's in the administration, you, the right decision will be really made. You really have faith in this? And these career, oh these career bureaucrats, I do. I, I do. Now, she the politicians is, are different so story. She has had, <laughs> again, I'm going to say it, she's had a whole career of, of you know, using the, you know, you know not violating the law and, and acting as an ethical prosecutor. Shouldn't She's, she, she have has that reputation. herself a long time ago because Bill Clinton was the person who appointed her as the U.S. Right. attorney. He's a potential target of this FBI investigation. Shouldn't she have in the beginning said, you know what? I'm going to do what Gonzalez and Reno did. She could have considered myself. that. Yeah. She could have yeah. considered that. There's no question about Absolutely. it. It has the appearance of, of impropriety. She has admitted Which, that. Because she but, didn't do that, but, does that make you suspect even more that the fix was in? 
only because it's Loretta Lynch, I, I really don't suspect that because she's had a career right. of making decisions based on the facts and applying it to the law. And she is from our area. She's from the Eastern District, which is out in Long Island and Brooklyn. So certainly we know her well in this area. Yes. Certainly she's a good prosecutor. But if she was going to do it, she should have done it from the beginning. And I, I think you're correct. It should have happened from the beginning to take away all impropriety. Well, should it be a surprise that Bill Clinton did this? No. Because after all, Bill no, Clinton not. got disbarred from practicing law for by the lying. U.S. Supreme Court yeah. for ethical lapses and lying. For lying. He committed perjury. Absolutely. So we're not surprised that Bill Clinton tried to pull this. I'm not. Well, we don't know what he tried to pull. Oh, but come on. We, we, no, we, I mean, he, as we sit here today. He, he, I think he reminded here, her that he had pointed You're saying that with a straight face, Dan. <laughs> as we sit here today, we don't know what he was trying to pull. However, I think it needs to be investigated. And if anything, there should be a special investigator or prosecutor yeah. to look at why he approached the U.S. Attorney of the United States. You, you know what? The iron the may be that Bill Clinton may have ruined the get out of jail free card that Hillary Clinton may have had with Loretta Lynch deciding her fate. Now that's out the window, allegedly. And if Hillary Clinton gets indicted and ends up in stripes, uh, she may have only her husband to blame. Let me tell you something. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think you're going to see uh, Why do you Secretary think that? Hillary Clinton. How do you know that? Nobody could say they because know that. Because no one, I've, I've represented clients before the Department of Justice yes. and, and with, uh, you know, FBI, federal investigators. Nobody walks in there with a volunteer. Voluntary meeting. You don't give a voluntary give information out if you think you're going to be convicted of a crime. Well, be, so I think wait ultimately a minute. she's running for president of the United States. She had no alternative if she wanted to keep she her viability for the White House. Remember, the FBI has never spoken to her. This she went to the FBI. The FBI didn't come seeking her. Oh come on! They asked her for an interview. For goodness we, sakes, no, no. that's we, how it we works. We have to see. And look, this right. is, we have to see how this all plays out. Greg. I got to go. All right, David, Richard, good to see you guys. Vigorous discussion, <laughs> Molly.